Welcome to USMLE Memorizations. Today we're going to talk about Systemic Sclerosis. Define Systemic Sclerosis. Systemic Sclerosis means excessive fibrosis throughout the body. Define Fibrosis. Fibrosis just means thickening and scarring of the connective tissue. What are some of the features of limited systemic sclerosis? Some of the features of limited systemic sclerosis, also known as the Crest Syndrome, it's a localized scleroderma which affects the fingers, forearm, and face. What are the five features of the acronym Crest? The five features of the acronym CREST are calcinosis, Raynaud syndrome, esophageal dysmotility, sclerodactyly, and telangiectasia. What are some of the features of diffuse systemic sclerosis? Some of the features of diffuse systemic sclerosis includes widespread scleroderma, which has a rapid progression, and it has early visceral involvement. What are the antibodies associated with Crest syndrome? Crest syndrome is associated with anti-centromere antibody. What are the antibody associated with diffuse systemic sclerosis? The antibody associated with diffuse systemic sclerosis is anti-SCL70, which is topoisomerase 1. For more information on this topic and for a full USMLE Step 1 review, click on the link in the description section below. So this was a quick video in question and answer format. These short videos are to help you recall and memorize high yield facts that are commonly seen on the USMLE. We recommend that you pause this video after every question and try to answer it on your own to see how well you can remember important information. If this video helped you, please be sure to share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, as well as you can check out our main YouTube channel, which is called USMLE Fast Track, and there you will find videos from the first date for the USMLE, Step 1. Thank you for watching.